2006. Go and get a handheld up here. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Well, that breeze looks consistent anyway. About 10 mile an hour target. Yeah, so I'm at 10 mile target. I probably should go for 12. Yeah. I'll do it at 9 o'clock. Okay. Put your ears on, buddy. Okay, are you ready? Good to go. front low six o'clock
Oh, just of left edge. <laughs> 10 o'clock. moving. Uh, can't see an impact though. It's like a rock back. Yeah it is isn't it. I'll go right in. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Right. Oh, right, okay. Wind's going back the other way. But not. But the... There might be something at 6 o'clock, but I don't really think so. Just under the target, one target left. A bit low. Looks a little bit like we got on some stage there. But you can't see it. No, I... Um, I well, it wobbled, so maybe... It did, it did, I know. It hit a chain. I would have thought it would have broken a chain. But it'll be only a small impact, so we'll have to go look. Okay, out here at Target. Um, this is a, this is one of our light ELR targets, and so it's made out of three mil or one eighth inch mild steel, but still put a little dent in it with that little 109 grain burger bullet. So still carrying a bit of energy out here. If I get to see the projectile, I'll put it on, but um, yeah, could still make it happen. And you saw out of those last rounds on this at this 3000, um, it was very close. But um, yeah, probably at the right of the edge or a fair bit past the edge of where you take a 243, but still 243, 3000 yards on target. <laughs>